Hello guys, it is Lee. It is in late in the afternoon during the week. It's the week of Easter. So I hope you have a good Friday and a happy Easter. Go to church. Um, anyway, what I'm gonna do today is this power washer right there was given to me about man maybe two three four months ago back in the winter time and uh it's just guy at church i know and he just said hey this has been sitting there he couldn't really tell me what was wrong with it so he, i said sure you know I, i'll be glad to take it for free <laughs> but anyway so here it is so i'm going to just kind of take a i'm in between projects i'm waiting for some parts to come in in between a couple projects so uh, i'm just going to take a look at it and I'll let, at least see what I got and then um, try to get it to run. Of course, on a pressure washer, you got two issues. You got the engine running, which that's usually pretty easy to fix, but then you got the, the uh, pump. And, you know, so I usually refrain from buying pressure washers uh, on Craigslist that don't run because it's like, all right, is the engine gonna run? Yeah, probably. But is the pump good? Well, you know, if you don't store it good for winter, then it might not be good. Or if sometimes they just play out. And a lot of times those pumps almost cost enough to, um, which not worth fixing, you know. Unless it's yours and you want to keep it for whatever. But we'll see what we got here. So the first step is on any engine I get in is I'm going to assume the fuel system is bad. And I'm going to put starting fluid in the carburetor and just see if it cranks over. You know, that'll let me know if it's got fire, let me know if it has compression. And um, if this works, then, then we got a fuel issue. And we all know that's pretty easy to fix. I mean, it's carburetor cleaning, maybe rebuild a carburetor, maybe buy a carburetor for 20 bucks. This looks like a real basic one, so I'm going to spray it in here and we'll see what we'll get. All right, so it's got gas in it, but we're assuming it's bad. But I did go ahead and turn it on just in case. Of course, I can't run it without water, but I already got the air breather off. A little starting, uh, well, that's carb choke cleaner, but same thing. And let's see if I can do it without getting in your way. I already got everything on here. The choke is choked. Um, yeah, it's choked. You open the choke and let that in there. That's, what, that's we what we want so you know all i'm gonna do so what i'm gonna do like i do on all of these is kind of repetition now so i'm gonna take this carburetor off and i'm gonna find you know the fuel line of course i'm gonna have, have to unhook it from the carburetor to get it off and i'm gonna go ahead and run all the gas into a bucket um and dispose of it properly and uh now, a lot of times I run water through that, but I don't know. We'll just see what it looks like. At least we get, if it looks clean inside there, I won't do it. But this is a little carburetor. Looks pretty easy to get off. So get it up on the workbench. It ought to be done. And my time on video won't be long, but uh, my time, about 20 minutes, ought to be in and out. See if it runs. Of course, I'm going to have to hook water up to the pump out here. Um, to test it, but anyway, so I don't burn the pump up if it works. So let's see. All right, so I've got the carburetor off. That's what we're looking at. I'm going to just uh, take it apart and clean it. Okay. So that's what it looks like. It looks terrible. Can you see it? It's just corrosive in there. This black rust. Uh, a lot of dark, dark gas come out of it. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it's just real dark, nasty gas. Gonna try to save this. Um, 
right there. So I'm just taking it apart here, pulling the pin out of the float. Right there it is. Pull the float out. There that is. I already got my ultrasonic cleaner on. That's what the inside looks like, but we're going to take some more apart, clean it, and I'll come back. But this is probably what you need to see. Flashlight. See that how nasty that is? I'm gonna clean it up. But look, I use steel wool. I get this going on. I get this little steel wool, and I just clean it up with that a lot. I'm gonna put it in that ultrasonic cleaner too. But I'm gonna start with this. I had to get all that grime dug out of there. So it already looks better. You can't see it though. It's dark right here. All right, I'm gonna be back. I mean, really that gas don't look that bad. But, I'm going to get it out of there anyway, just be on the safe side. Okay, that's nearly out there resting. This is what we got. So that's a whole lot cleaner. Inside and out. And I put a wire, if I can get my thumb, right in here, there's a little jet. And I pushed a wire down through it. And I air, uh, cleaned out all the holes with the air compressor and then let it sit in the ultrasonic cleaner for, oh, you know, 10, 15 minutes. It went real long. Now I'm gonna put it back together and see what happens. All right, so there it is. It's back on. Cleaned up. I put gas in it to make sure it's not leaking. Because it could leak through floats all kind of different places. So the next view is going to be me out there by the water hose with it, hooking it up and see if it runs.